developing psychic or tarot card reader, what else can you have in your tools, your armoury, to help you read for people? You've bought the tarot cards. You've got a pendulum, maybe a few pendulums. What next? Bring out the big guns. Dousing rods. These are quite long, but you can get smaller ones. And what you do with dousing rods, you can do exactly the same as you do with your pendulum. You can say which way for yes. And they usually go together like that. Now show me no. It's taken a while, but show me no. Can you see? They go out like this. You can also find spirits in your room. So, we say, is there any spirits in this room? If so, point to where that spirit is. See one of the rods over there? Well, that could be a no. They take a little while of getting used to. I think they're a little bit harder than using a pendulum. Um, but again, show me yes, show me no. You can find metal, so I'm actually doing them over, metal pendulums, and I shouldn't be. There's your metal, they will cross if you come across any metal or water. If I take them away, they will open. If I put them over the metal again, they will close to show that's metal. So that's what they're originally aimed at, but we can use these for all sorts of things. We can do them for locating spirits in your room, you can do yes or no answers, and you can ask some questions exactly the same as you do with your pendulums next level up